Today we're doing Eureka Math, Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 3. Our objectives are, I can add and subtract tens and ones. I can use words, drawings, and numbers to show my understanding. We're going to start with an application problem. And we'll use our read, draw, write, write method. So first we'll read. The teacher has 48 folders. She gives six folders to the first table. How many folders does she have now? So we need to circle our key information. So that's the most important things in there that we need to remember as we're figuring this out. And so the teacher has 48 folders. So let's circle 48. She gives six folders to the first table. Okay, so she gives. If you're giving something away, it means you're going to have fewer of what you had to begin with. So that means we're going to subtract. So let's put a minus sign there. And she's giving six folders. So that's important for us to know that she's giving away six. Then our question is, how many folders does she have now? So underline that to make sure we come back to that and we answer that question before we're done. We need to draw a picture. So since in our objective it said that we need to do tens and ones, we'll just draw tens and ones for our picture. So we need to start with 48 because that's how many your teachers start with. And so 48, how many tens does 48 have? Well, when you think about it, the four is in the tens spot. So let's draw four tens. One, two, three, four. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40. And then we have eight in our ones columns. So we're going to draw eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then she gives away six. Now let's write 48 here. And she's giving away six. So that means we're subtracting. Now let's take them away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll write that. Okay, then we can count up our tens and ones to find our answer. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. Okay, so 48 minus six equals 42. And then we need to answer our question. We have to write a sentence for that. So how many folders does she have now? She has 42 folders now, period. Okay, Write that nice and big so you can see. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to our problem set. Okay, for number one, it says, for A, 30 plus six. Maybe you can do this in your head, which would be a great skill to have. But if you can't, we can always line it up vertically. Okay, we have 30 plus six. You have to make sure you're careful, you write neatly, and that you have your ones together in the ones column and your tens in the tens column. So zero plus six is six. Three plus nothing is still three. So we'll put 36 here. Now you can see they slightly changed the problem on the next one. So instead of having six in the ones like they did here, they have six in the 10 space here. So we have our zeros and our ones. And so we know zero plus zero is just a zero. And then we can add up our six and our three because those are 
in our tens. And so if you think about it, you have six in your head and then seven, eight, nine, so it'd be 90. Or you could think about it. You could, I like starting with a bigger number. So I would start with 60 and then I can count by tens. So 60 in my head, so 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, I add my three tens. Okay, so there are different ways to do that. And then in column B, we have subtraction. So if our fingers are representing tens, then we have five tens and we need to take away 30. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We'll take away 30. So 10, 20, 30. And you see I have two left. So these are tens. So this is 10, 20. So we have 20. Or you could do like we did over here with the zero minus zero equals zero and five minus three equals two. Okay, now they changed it a little bit here. So we had 50 minus 30 here and now we have 51 minus 30 here. So we could add, uh, subtract that vertically, making sure we line up our ones and our tens neatly. So we could do one minus zero is one and five minus three is two. Okay. Or you could also think about it. This is just one more than the 50 up there. So, and we have the same number as our, what we're subtracting. So you can have 21 there. Okay. And then you can try these on your own. Okay, so on two, it says solve. So they want you to come up with an answer. And it's always good to show your work. But we are going to do tens and ones since that's in our objective. So we'll have 24 plus five. So we have two in the tens column. So we have two tens and we have our ones. One, two, three, four. So we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, plus five. So those five is in the ones column. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then we are adding, so we just need to count it all together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can write a nine here. Or you could also write nine here. And then we have two tens. So that goes in our tens space. We have 29. Okay, we also have subtraction here. So you can use your same methods like we did on the top part. Okay, so let's go with D. So if we're gonna have 78 minus 30, and we're drawing our tens and ones, we have start with 78. So with subtraction, you just need to draw out the biggest number. So 78, we have seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're taking away 30. Now that's zero ones. So we're gonna leave our ones alone. And that's three tens. So we're just gonna cross off three tens. One, two, three. Okay, so what we have left here is what we need to count to find out what our answer is. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Okay, 40 plus eight, 
48. Okay. So we'll go on. And we have more problems for number three. And they're a little different. If you look carefully, the numbers are kind of the same. So we have 38 plus 10, and then we have 18 plus 30. I know that looks different to begin with, but think about it here. We have 38 and 10. So we have a three in the tens place and a one in the tens place. And here we have a one in the tens place for 18 and a three in the tens place. So kind of like we're adding similar numbers here, aren't we? And we have eight in the ones and eight in the ones. So if we think about it, eight plus zero, still gonna be eight. And then one plus three would be four. And then we have a one plus three, be a four. And we have eight plus zero, that's still an eight. Now look at that. We have 48 as the answer for both of them because we had the same number in the tens and we had the same numbers in the ones. Okay, so maybe there are gonna be similar patterns on the rest of those. You might wanna check carefully. Okay. So, on number four, it says compare 57 minus 2 to 57 minus 20. How are they different? Use words, drawings, or numbers to explain. Okay, so if we have 57, they want us to use some drawings. So, we could draw our tens and ones. So, we'll do 57. So, we have uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and seven ones. Okay. So that is 57. And if we subtract, take away two and cross off two. Okay, and then we have five, I mean, sorry, kind of by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So our answer there is 55. Now we have 57, so that's uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 20. So we're going to leave that ones column alone. We're not taking away any ones but we're gonna take away two tens. So take away two of those tens and what we're left with here, we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Okay, so 57 minus 20 equals 37. Okay, so how are they different? Okay, well we see we still have similar numbers, right? We have a two here and a two there. But these twos, are they in the same place? No. We have a two in the ones place here and we have a two in the tens place here. So that makes a big difference because we can see we have 55 here as our answer. And we have 37 as our answer there. So we can say, the twos are in different places. Okay. And then we have a word problem here. It's an extension. So if you were able to finish all of that, here's your challenge. Andy has $28.
He spent $5 on a book. Lisa had $20 and got $3 more. Lisa says she has more money. Prove her right or wrong using pictures, numbers, or words. Okay, so Andy had $28 and he spent. So spent means like he's giving it away, right? So that means he is subtracting five dollars because he had to pay for that book when he went to the store. Then Lisa had twenty dollars and she got three dollars more. So if she got that means she's getting something. That means she's adding, right? Three dollars and more also means to add. Okay, so Lisa says she has more money. Well, let's figure this out. If Andy has twenty-eight dollars, subtracting five dollars, so then we'll do 8 minus 5 equals 3, and 2 minus nothing equals 2. Okay, this is for Andy. Let's make sure we label that because we don't want to mix things up here. And then Lisa had $20, and she got 3 more, so we're adding $3. So 0 plus 3 is three, and two plus nothing is two. And we'll label that with Lisa. Okay, so Lisa says she has more money. Does Lisa have more money? Hmm, well, 23 and 23, what do you think? Are they, does she have more? Or do they have the same? Or does she have less? Okay, so I'm gonna let you do the rest of that and you can write, Lisa is, uh, you write, is she right or is she wrong? And then, because, and then you write the rest. Why is she right or is she wrong? Okay, so on your exit ticket, I'm not gonna do the exit ticket. Because your teacher is going to want to see that you know how to do all this on your own after all this practice in the problem set. So, it just says solve. So you can draw uh, your tens and ones or you could line it up vertically or however best works for you. And you write your answers on the line and you'll give that to your teacher. So, I hope this was helpful. Bye.